Hello there, kids. It is I, Stray Cat, the one and only, coming with another episode of No Man's Sky. Alrighty, when we left off, I was a little lost as to what I was going to be doing and how I was going to be doing it. But now I've decided I'm just going to be finishing missions as much as I can. And uh, this new... Whoa, 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 what? Ah... Uh... What? Um... I was going to check this world if it was the planet that I needed to photograph. It's not. But also, these just kind of dropped out of hyperspace. I guess. There we go. Just gonna pick up a few of these where I can. Also, I'm going to see what is up with this. Uh-oh. Okay. Of course, they did find... Okay. Hostile ships. Joy. They're pirates. Wahoo. Oh boy. Oh boy. Oh boy. Okay, well, this is going to be a problem if I don't start moving. Oh, boy. Okay. Got you. Took care of you. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Okay. One of them, anyway. There we go. Woo! Okay. Space combat. Wasn't prepared for that. There we go. Nice. Cool. Well, that was something. Milestone accomplished. I destroyed five starships. Well, that wasn't necessarily how I expected that to go. I have no idea what these ships are. They have cargo pods. That much is obvious. But beyond that, I don't know what else they're doing. They have a whole bunch of cargo there, but unless they are like... I think they're all part of a fleet. And I don't necessarily want to piss them off. Although I think I technically already have. I'm getting attacked by hostile ships. I also like the fact that the rocks are kind of technically in the ship. Kind of funny to me. Technically getting rid of a couple of them for, I guess. Oh, okay! Didn't technically intend on landing in the freighter. Capital ship. Which means all the other ships around them were part of its fleet, I guess. Interesting. Interesting, interesting, interesting. Not exactly how I intended this to go. Well, hi there. Um, Divine Atlas Entity. Uh, sell items to the life form? Um, I do have a lot of this. Huh. Interesting. 
interesting. Um, what do you have on your person? Corvax casing and convergence cube. Huh. Make an offer on their ship. Just kind of curious. Flying tomato. I almost read that as flying tomatoes. Um, hmm. Ah, I think I'm good with my ship. I think I'm good with my For now, anyway. Huh. Journey milestone. Tycoon, because I have earned so much money. Enough. I'm gonna head out of here. <laughs> Didn't necessarily intend on phasing through that ship, but it is what it is. Okay. That's an unknown planet. The planet that I'm supposed to be making a photograph of is supposed to be a desert planet. And so far, I haven't seen a desert planet. Which is something. Okay, there we go. I guess there is another planet around New... What was the name? New Erlin is the planet around it if I'm reading my map correctly. It'll just take forever to get to. Oh boy. Whoop, okay. Alright. Well, didn't mean to do that, but that's fine. Aimlessly go around the planet. There's the other planet that I was seeing. Okay. So an undiscovered planet. Glacial planet. Aggressive sentinels. Really? Here's some other unknown planets. High radio source planet. High sentinel activity. And they have uranium on that planet. What is this unknown planet? An abandoned planet. Salvageable scrap. Cactus flesh. This is maybe in a enough of a desert planet I can get away with getting a photograph of it? Maybe. It'll just take a minute to get there. Both metaphorically and literally. It'll just take quite a bit of time to get there. So I just need to take landscape photographs of the target planet. Which the abandoned planet might work. We'll try it. If nothing else, we have the uranium planet close by, then I can start collecting the uranium. Regardless of how angry it'll make the sentinels. Because I also need to kill sentinels. So, that'll work. Okay. Abandoned planet. Really hope it counts as a desert planet. All right. We're 
nearly there. Beautiful. Well, definitely looks like a desert planet. Looks like it should be. Initiating landing sequence. And it is. Freezing night winds. Isolated, generous, and abundant. Take a landscape photo. I'll do that in a little bit. But first, there is a lot of things here. Learn the Corvex word for you. I might as well learn what this is about. Oops. I let go a little too early, I guess. Also has pyrite. Stone over here. Oh. I guess I should identify the plant before I kill it. It's a hazardous flora anyway, but still. Should scan it before I make it die. Oh boy. Enough. Knowledge stone. There we go. Corvax word for four. Okay. What we got here? Ferrite dust and carbon. Alright. What? Oh. Another ferrite dust and carbon. What in the absolute shit was that? Ow. The what? It went down here, though. I don't want to go down there. That's too deep a fall. I don't think I'll be able to get back out. Well, at least not easily. As much as I want to see whatever that thing was, I don't want to risk going down there and then not being able to come back. Okay. These are proper cactuses. Yeah. That they are. Oh, I assume because the sun is coming up. Huh. Alright, that's some pirate. And down I go. They meant to survive that fall. Oh, you little shit. Another one of you, huh? Primary fucking element is oxygen. 
All right. Oh, I don't recognize these either. Primary element of carbon. And this one. Carbon. That is a... That is a name. Mouth Ain. <laughs> <laughs> I am 12. <laughs> All right. What is Oh no. Oh, they have humming sacks here. That means they have the good stuff. Don't tell me that game. Don't tell me that, because then I'm going to go crazy trying to get the money. Because it's basically free money. Oh, no. I need to see what this is real quick. This is another pure ferrite plus pyrite. Oh, boy. There we go. Oh, can't put anything back on the ship yet. At least until I get closer. Whoa! Alright! Its behavior is angry. It extracts bone marrow and has bioluminescent teeth. Oh my god. Holy. Okay, um, gonna do that, put, break that up, put this on the starship, put this on the starship, oh my, okay, um, Hydrogen over here. Put this over here. Okay. Um, I'm kind of curious if it will be an angry creature at me or not. Yes, it will. The answer is yes. Yes, it will. Okay. Well. There we go. All that good. Okay, you are a little too close to my ship. Sorry. There we go. Crystal Flesh? I'm sorry, what? Some sort of genetic or collective memory harboring deep grudges against species that wronged them in the distant past. Carnivores, they prefer to hunt larger creatures. They strip the flesh from the bones of their prey before finally consuming the marrow in a way that is almost ritualistic. Oh my. Look at you. You are freaky. And then also crystal flesh. A nutritious meat product? Are you sure you want to call it that? Nutritious? Made out of crystal? Okay. This is not worth holding on to, but this. That might be. No, I know it will be. Alright. Um, Landscape-wise, I guess... Oh, this is a perfect shot. This is a beautiful shot. I just don't know how to do the camera. There we go. And... I kind of want to do it here. Just here. 
Oops, that wasn't what I wanted. <laughs> How do I, how do I take the damn photo? Oh, I did it. I did it already. Okay. Now I need to return to the mission agent. Okay. All right. Cool. beans. And mission agent is I guess over there. Off planet. And I'm arriving to the mission agent in a minute. Cool. Oh. Object of interest. Great frequency, huh? Convergence Dica Dimionum. I don't know how to pronounce the rest of that. Although I cannot be sure of their precise meaning, this trader appears keen to do business. Examine cargo manifest. Wait a minute. I'm pretty sure I ran into this guy earlier. Crystal flesh. Well. way to get some easy money out of it. Huh. Huh. Okay. And away they go. Well, there we go. We uh, sold off the crystal flesh, and now we're back on track to returning to the mission agent. Works good for me. All right. Take a little bit of time. Oops, I did. What I meant to do was go to this and refill. There we go. That was the main reason I was collecting some of that pyrite, by the way. Begin docking approach. Okay. I had a feeling I would eventually make it into the tractor beam. Alright. And here we are. Beautiful. And we go back to the mission agent and we... <laughs> Okay. Hello. A list of missions and their associated rewards. Hand in the missions that I currently have. That. Decent number of uh, units. Decent amount of money. Got some nanites. And more standing with the Corvax. And then exotic structures. Not as much money as I would hope, but it's still something. Hunt pirates. I get a hypnotic eye out of it. Hmm. I could do that. See why not. 
uh, alarming problems. Just killing creatures. I could just go back to the planet I was on. Get a lot of money out of the creatures I would kill. And then sentinels. Mercenary standing. Okay. Fair enough. Research entity. Pavoy? I don't know. The lights in the electric life electronic rather. A life forms masks casing seem to constrict. They tilt their heads slightly as they chitter at me, perhaps wondering what it is that I want. Help with dialect. I feel a light jolt pass between me and research entity that name. Strange symbols form in my mind, each representing a concept I might learn. Friendship? Learn the word for help. Okay. Uh, practice. Uh, trade? Looks utterly uninspired by this word. Perhaps they are not interested in trade-related matters. Well, that's unfortunate. What about you? Oi, oi, kaha, I guess. Research entity. Small data cube levitates in front of this Corvax, flashing in a rhythmic pattern of lights. The life form's facial lighting pulses in sync. Okay. Seems pleased by my intellectual curiosity. They prevent they present a selection of symbols, each representing a type of Corvax word I might learn. Okay. For echoes. Okay. Language skills. Uh helping? Inclines their head deferentially, prompted by some obscure motivation to assist me. With a graceful motion, they restore my exosuit to full charge. Hmm. Well, thank you, I guess. There's a cadet. One hell of a name. Viking Arna Command. To say a warrior, help pathetic interloper. Enoch. Your Hong Kier? Kiara? I don't friggin' know. The warrior's barks have a welcoming tone. My, my exosuit's auditory sensors automatically turn down the relay volume. <laughs> Cadet draws himself up, proud to be teaching their language. Um... Trade? Learn the word for trade. Okay, cool. Uh, practice. The cadet falls respectfully silent, curious to hear my pronunciation of their guttural language. Um. Graf? Grafts my hand heartily in response to this word. They offer a gift to honor my respect for their people. Ooh, a Viking effigy. Well, thank you. It was very nice of you. Uh, exosuit. Huh. Very cool. Very cool. Code entity Rechevron. Rechevron, I guess. Unknown life form. I passed my test. Ahoy, I'm free to explore. Free to pursue my passion for structural analysis. Do you have a base? A science terminal? Think of all that might be done. Corvax is happy, overjoyed to see me. They seem to have com just completed some rite of passage for their species, necessi necessitating them to go out into the universe and pursue their interests. Scientists offer to join my base if I provide them with a science terminal. Oh, traveler, please reanalyze the situation. Corvax is sure you will come to a new conclusion. I probably will, but I don't have a base that good yet. Key phrase yet. Scientist entity B8. Two of Scorvax entity help. 
The lights in the life form's casing are wide and dim. As they turn to talk, their mask becomes momentarily blank. They swiftly come back online, but I can't help but feel that their piercing gaze is that of a different entity altogether. The scientist entity touches my suit. Strange symbols form in my mind, each representing a concept I might learn. Strange! Yep. Though, Korvac's word for please. Korvac's entity help. Okay. Uh, practice. Scientist entity tilts their head, their speech parser awaiting my input. I recall some of the Corvax words I have learned. Uh, please? With an effortless kindness that puts most organic life forms to shame, scientist entity bait places a gift in my hand. An ion battery. Okay, that ain't too bad. That ain't too bad. Not necessarily something I need, but I'll, I'll take it. Hey! I am a new Corvax rank. Point of interest. And I'm now known as Test Subject? Interesting. Alright. The Crusade. Okay. Well. Might as well. Hmm. Oh, I can get another upgrade. Hello. I'll take that. Although, do I want to do it in technology? I don't know. Oops, that wasn't what I meant to do. I wanted to check if there was tech that I could install. There isn't. So I might as well just do it for cargo. For general. Cool. There we go. General upgrade. Fine by me. Fine by me. Huh. This is for starship stuff. Got here. Ooh, prayer of clarity. Oh my. It's massive, but it doesn't have nearly as much slots as I was expecting. Hmm. It is currently better than my pistol, though. But I can't outright buy it. Which is what I was hoping to do. So, I guess I'll wait on that for now. Is there anything in here worth having? Well, hi there. Didn't expect to see people in here. Navigation data. Hey! Cool. Uh, let's sell some of the stuff that I picked up while I've been here. Like that effigy. And yeah, that should be good. I do have quite a lot of ion batteries that I don't really need all that badly. It's not right now. But, uh,. Flagbearer Gorm. That's a name. Alright. Let's head out there and start doing these missions. Ah. Since I have done, you know, plenty of stuff already.
planet I need to go to was where again? Oh boy, I don't remember. There they are. This one had uranium, copper, and the high sentinel activity. So we're gonna go over here. Let's see if there's crazy uh, animals on this planet as well. And if not, you can, we can always go back to the desert planet. That's not going to be that much of a concern. I have a feeling, though, that there are more than likely than not will be some crazy, you know, angry animals on this planet. this used to be a war zone. At least that's what it looks like to me right now. Jesus. Alright. Well, this is pretty flat ground, I guess. New Ermont, first contact. An identified mineral. Oh boy. I am getting immediately clobbered over the head with radiation. 5.5 ray. Rad. Oh, yeah. No, I hear it. And I see it. Okay. Man, oh man. There's a lot of things around here. This one has pure ferrite. Sodium. Well, good idea to do this now. Well, there's that. I've gotten the whoops. I need to do that. There's the uranium. Okay. Well, I did need to technically fight sentinels, so. Okay. Oh, hi there. I didn't expect you to come on me, come up on me so quickly. Rather. There we go. Got that. Got that. Oh boy. The crystals over here. Yeah, I figured as much. Still. Things I need to get. Well, hi there. Oh, boy. Okay. Need to... Load this thing. Okay. 
Okay. Got that. Got you. Got you. Oops. Those. That. 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 And... Yep. I figured. Time to get up in my ship. And start dealing with them from... Well, better position. Well, should help a little trying to deal with them. Okay. It also will help if I do it with the proper, you know, weapon. Aha! Wait, what? Okay, well. Try to figure out the uh, inventory issue. Oh, I see. That would do it. And of course they're, of course they are doing that now. Oh boy, they had to be vacuuming today. Okay. Well, that's annoying, but. Sure, there's plenty, you just don't want to do it. Whoa, oh, oh, geez, I destroyed five sentinels. Well, that's good. I'm sure, I destroyed more than that, though. I destroyed ten. <laughs> Beautiful, and that means that mission is done. Nice. All right, sodium, put that over here. Put that over here. Put that over there. And screw it. Put this in here too. There. Yeah. That should be fine. I think. Turn to the mission agent. Yeah, I'll do that. In a bit. In a little bit. Huh. First, I just want to see if I can make a decent base on this planet. module, there's a silver deposit, there's a silver deposit, a copper deposit, a copper deposit. Alright. There's apparently a creature in this general area. Oh, there they are. I think. Huh. Highly intelligent, but they subsist apparently on shit I just read, or technically fake him. 
Yeah, face him. Fakies. Leduc. Some might say. Okay, I'm gonna stop. <laughs> but. No. No way. <laughs> oh boy. That'll get the Sentinel's dander up if I get that. That's a good idea. It's a brilliant idea. Yeah, let's do that. Okay. Well. Well, technically I did the thing. The thing I said I was going to do. Which was kill the sentinels. And then get some... Uranium. Which I did do. Huh. Well, I guess I gotta go back to the other planet to get those uh, creatures dealt with. That'll also give me huge amounts of money. So, let's get out of here. And get out of this general area. This one was... I forget, what was this planet? Okay. I don't know. I don't remember. This one was a desert planet, I think. It doesn't seem to want to tell me what planets these are. There we go. It's an ancient bones, and that's actually a frozen planet. Well, that's unfortunate. The other planet is on the other side of this one. Well, this is going to be difficult. Okay, well, I'm going to head to that planet, but for now I'm going to end the episode. Just so I can, you know, do it on time for once. <laughs> anyway, thank you all so much for watching. Click the subscribe button if you like these videos and you want to see more. Click the like button if you like this particular video. And share and comment so we can bring more people into this community. We can talk about the games we're playing together, and I will see you all in the next episode. I almost screwed that up, but I managed to save it. This has been the one and only Stray Cat playing games and... Trying my damnedest to get missions completed while also, you know, just in general having fun with uh, all the shenanigans I can do when it comes to, you know, mining planets for good materials and whatnot. As well as, uh, you know, making money, earning fame with local species, and just general exploring because it's fun and then eventually we'll get onto the main tract of the uh, main story but first I want to explore a bit it's kind of fun for you